Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for a new series of makeups, I'm gonna be doing a country-inspired makeup look once a month. So for the first step, something that's essential for Italians is a flawless skin. I don't know if you've noticed, but Italians and French people just have the skin to die for. I don't even know how they do it, but they just do. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with this um, Tone 01 of Bali Maquillage. No, I'm kidding, it's Pali Maquillaje because it's Mexican. So I'm gonna start with this Pali Maquillaje powder foundation, which I'm gonna apply all over my face with my powder brush. So the reason why I started with Italy is because it's definitely from my favorite countries. Don't think I'm just gonna be doing an Italian inspired tutorial, I'm gonna be doing plenty. But um, I just wanted to start with Italy because I just love Italy and popular country and it was just like it was actually the kind of makeup that inspired me to do these kinds of videos that and the fact that I was talking with a friend and I love languages right so she told me like why don't you take advantage of the fact that you love languages and that you know a lot of languages and I don't know like I love cultures so she said like you've been to different countries met different people from different places and stuff why don't you just start like doing something related to that on your YouTube video so that's when I decided to start filming videos with makeup inspired in other countries so up next I'm gonna take my concealer um, so I did apply a little bit of powder foundation and now, now I'm applying a concealer that's liquid cream. No, it's liquid actually. This one is from Gick Cosmetics. And so this one, I am going to be applying it on my dark circles around my nose. A little bit on my cheek because I have like a two set scars. And on my chin. I'm going to take my powder brush. I don't know why, but I love how this blends my concealer. So I'm going to take it and that's how I'm going to be dabbing my concealer. I'm going to be taking a little bit of the excess of the under eyes to apply it on my top eyes just so that the eyeshadow can actually last longer. So Italians are really known for their flawless tan skin. I really can't achieve a tan, so I'm going to be using my Tarteist Glow to Go Contour and Highlighter Palette. If I don't have a tan, well, let's fake it till we make it. Am I right? I'm gonna start with my contour buffing brush, and I'm gonna apply really ugly lines because it literally looks like too much on all the places that I want to contour contour and up next I'm gonna be following up with a more angled contour brush to buff it all out take that brush and I go over all of it just to blend it so that it looks a lot less harsh before going to the highlighter I'm gonna be applying this shade of coral which matches really well with a tan skin it's um, by Bali Maquillaje also, like I said, in the shade Coral, and it's a powder blush. It's really, really nice. It's organic. Well, it's more like mineral rather than organic, so it really lets your skin breathe. It's amazing, and the color is just to die for. So we apply it on the cheekbones. Guys, I really recommend you to look at a tutorial or like at a picture or something on where to apply the blush according to your face shape. That way you'll know exactly where you want the color to pop. So advice is that if you have a tan, to always use more on the orangish, coralish side of blushes rather than pink, because that's gonna make you look more pale. Leave the pinks for winter. I take my highlighter brush 
apply it on all the places where the sun hits. Duh, the sun hits all the face, obviously. But there's those certain angular points where the sun hits extra. That's where we're going to be applying the highlighter. Then we're moving on to everybody's favorite part of the face, except for mine, the brows. I am just not used to doing my eyebrows, like to coloring my eyebrows, painting my eyebrows, however you want to call it. See, I don't even know the correct term, but everybody seems to be obsessed with it. So for my YouTube videos and my photo shoots, I definitely do my eyebrows, get them colored. Just like to fill in all those little blank spaces, like those unwanted blank spaces. So I'm gonna be taking something else by Fali, the chocolate shade. So I take a little bit of that brow powder, I tap it, and we apply it on all those little blank spaces really, really lightly. Because we just want our brows to look natural. Because what we actually want to emphasize in this makeup is the lips. I take my Dior Backstage palette in more neutrals. <laughs> This one is another one of those palettes that took me ages to get. And this one is my favorite or top two favorites of eyeshadow palettes and I just love it. So I'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take this nude color and I'm gonna apply it all over my lid very, very easily. So the reason why I chose Italy as my first country represent and the makeup it's because it's actually one of my favorites if not my favorite country in life I remember the first time I went to Italy oh my god <laughs> I flipped it was my dream to go to Cinque Terre it's actually five mountains it's composed by five mountains each mountain is supposed to be a very small village and two of them are very touristy one of them is only houses another one is a vineyard and the other one i can't quite remember why we didn't go to it but to go to each little village you actually have to take a boat so when we went to them i felt like in a movie scene the scenery was surreal the color of the ocean the color of the like the buildings and the streets and the food everything was so colorful and full of life limoncello everywhere focaccia pizza pasta spritz everywhere like i felt like i was literally in heaven like all my favorite things were in the same place so then we take the crease brush and we're gonna go to the lightest shade of brown and by lightest shade i mean the matte colors because we have this one that's right next to it that's a shimmery brown that one is even lighter than the one I'm taking but that one we're gonna use it at the end so this I'm gonna be applying it only on my crease and in the end we're gonna create like kind of a cut crease effect and we're gonna blend it all with a smudge brush coming back to like the topic of my <laughs> trip to Italy so Cinque Terre was like my dream but like the highlight of my trip was Rome. Lizzie McGuire inspired me to go to Rome. I mean, <laughs> if it didn't inspire you, did you even have a time? So when I finally arrived to Rome, I love culture. I love reading, I love arts, I love investigating and doing researches about other cultures and countries and people and places and blah, 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 blah. History is like a weakness for me. So I arrived to Rome and we see the Chai Fountain and then we see the David and then we see sculptures and then we see statues and then we see buildings and la 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 la. Troppo, 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 tutto. I started going crazy. I felt so overwhelmed with excitement. I literally wanted to cry. But then I started feeling a little bit ridiculous. Not that I'm against people crying. I was just like, think I'm ridiculous if I start crying but it was so inevitable that a tear fell down my eye and I was like Roma this is Roma like I couldn't believe I was there everywhere I looked it was so full of history such a rich culture I couldn't even believe I was there I felt like in a movie it was like one of those 
like these pinch me moments and thank god nobody pinched me but <laughs> then I ran to my ex and I realized it was true so I was like you know what yeah not everything is so perfect so to keep it up with the cut crease look that was really British wasn't it or Irish who knows we're gonna take the darkest shade of brown with the eye tapper crease brush so we tap it and you know that little line that separates your lid from your crease? That's where we're gonna mark a line with this brush, which is gonna look ugly right now, but that's where we're gonna blend it. So take my favorite brush of all, which is a smudge brush, because it just makes your eyes look beautiful and in uniform. By uniform, I mean like one form, not like a uniform. But, ugh, I hate uniforms. So we're gonna blend the whole eyelid. We're gonna go to that shimmery light brown shade, and I'm gonna take my my favorite finger, <laughs> and I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the crease of the lid, the eyelid, the bottom lid, the um. You know, I could just be mentioning eye part things and I still wouldn't get it right. But the reason why I'm applying it with my finger is because the finger makes shimmery shadows look much more vibrant. So I go back to that smudge brush. I don't add any product on it. I'm just gonna smudge it again to blend it so that the remaining product in the brush is gonna blend the shimmery shadow with the rest of the eyeshadows. Not that the shimmer made really any that much of a difference between the blending, but you just want it to look even more subtle. I always get so conflicted because I never know if I should apply mascara first or the eyeliner first, but today I'm gonna do the eyeliner first. I'm gonna do it off camera because it's such a dilemma for me, but I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna do it so that we can do it together. I'm gonna go from the middle part to the outer part. So I'm gonna do a little wing. And once I get three quarters to the center, there I'm gonna do a thinner line so that the eyeliner doesn't look too harsh on where it starts versus where it ends. Because we want to give the illusion of false lashes and a more angular and long line, which is something Italians tend to do a lot. Which, by the way, I would be using a lemon shirt or a lemon dress, but I don't have any, so that's why I opted for this little bandana that looks uh, so Italian for me. Or at least that's what I thought when I saw it in Amsterdam. I was like, ew, Italy. I'm getting it. <laughs> so if you guys are a normal person like me, and have the freaking hardest time doing your eyeliner just like me please help me feel better and mention it in the comments also give me your tips and advice on how to you know have an easier time doing my eyeliner because i just suffer so much but i think i got it right so for today i'm good i'm sad eyeliner I was using it's this little MAC liner it's in shade Boot black so for the mascara I'm going to be using this Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Lash Mascara and the thing is we're not using falsies because well I never really use falsies so the thing is we have to make our lashes look impactful so we're gonna twist them up and then move them to the side and just make them, you know, look big and long like if we actually had falsies. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna move on to the lip liner. A little trick for you guys to create a plumper lip. So I saw this from one of my favorite vloggers. It's Adi Andrea. I think it was her. <laughs> what you have to do is from the center to where you're cupid's bow ends you go a little bit upper on the lip and then once you reach you know the second half you just follow that line on both sides and on the bottom you follow your natural lip line so let's do that let's go to the top 
then follow the line. Oh my god, like I just love it. This one looks so sexy. You can even get like this on top, like call it a night. But thank god for lipstick! So I'm gonna be taking my Dior. This is actually my favorite lipstick. It's in the shade 863 from the Ultra line. You can actually tell this is my favorite lipstick because <laughs> look how much I have left. It's like a bear. Now I have to go buy a new one. <sighs> anyway, so let's do that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Don't you just love a red lip? They're so sexy. Like, whenever you're feeling down, the best way to boost your confidence, red lips. This is a final makeup look for my Italian-inspired Dolce Vita makeup look. If you guys have any suggestions on what country you'd like for me to do next, don't forget to comment down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys. Now I'm just gonna go off this makeup because it's quarantine 11 p.m. and I'm not really gonna do anything tonight. <laughs> Yay me! Bye!